when you see the poster in the picture of this game, uh, it, you're going to see that it's just called Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 2011 now. It's commonly referred to as Mortal Kombat 9 simply because it's the ninth game. It's the ninth installment in the franchise. So I'm going to get into uh, some of the basics and I'm going to get into some detail on some stuff. Let's start with the reviews as usual. Now, the average uh, rating from the audiences on Google, the audience reviews are 94%. Now, let's see what some of the people on here said about that. Now, I gave my uh, I gave a brief review on it a few months ago. I said, I love this game. I've been playing it since it came out in 2011. I'm glad that this game introduced new features such as x-ray moves, tag team. The story was amazing. It had 16 chapters. The story details the events of the first three games with a few additions. We're going to get into I'm going to get into that in a second. The combos are great. The characters are fast. Most of the characters are fast. Not all of them. Uh, one person said, I started playing this game on my 360 again with the complete edition with all of the DLC downloadable content and downloadable characters. And I have to say, this to me is easily the best game in the Mortal Kombat reboot trilogy, easily along with the best roster of characters with all the classics, or is it classics, since... Uh, okay, he spelled one... He said it twice. He spelled one with a C, the other with a K. I get that. Since MK spells everything with a K for marketing purposes. Whatever it is, the roster... It is the roster is the best in the reboot trilogy for me more than just roster, which pretty much has all of your expected familiar faces playable, such as Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Sonya, and more. Now, another one said something very similar. Best fighting game ever, surpassing the previous owner of this title, Soul Calibur 4, improving on any mistake that MKDC Universe had regarding tired gameplay mechanics such as the rage system or the toned down fatalities. Easily agree with that, and I'm pretty sure at least 99% of true Mortal Kombat fans agree with that one. Uh, that's not to say Mortal Kombat DC was a bad game. I still think it was good. It just wasn't as good as a lot of the others. I talked about that in, a, in a, another video. Now, here are some of the reviews. Here's the aggregate score reception from Metacritic, 88%. One up, A minus, Eurogamer, 70. Game Informer, 95. Game Spot. 85. Games Radar. Games Radar Plus. 80. Game Zone. 90. IGN. 85. So overall, the game for the most part had, it had some pretty great reviews. I see that some people on Google had voted the game only a 1 out of 5 stars and some 2 out of 5 stars, but I don't really see any comments there. They must not have chosen to like give the explanation as to why. I'm sure you can go on YouTube and find some videos because, I mean, it's let's be fair. Every game has ups and downs. No game is perfect. No game is all good or all bad. So now to talk about the just a little bit of the story. Now, from what I read on here and from what you guys heard, then this is a trilogy reboot. So what this game did was because it took place after the events of Armageddon, uh, what, what happened in there was Raiden essentially reversed and altered the timeline so the gist of the story is when you take the when you take the first three mortal kombat games and you take the story from those three games what mortal kombat 9 did was basically give it's it's what you call a remake of that it detailed a lot of the events that took place in those games but they they made a few changes in there uh, i think some of it was for the better and some of it was definitely for the worse now as I stated, there are 16 chapters in the game. Now, of course, you can be able to... I, I'm going to tag the... I, I don't know why I keep saying tag. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the link to the story in the comment section for those of you who haven't seen it that are curious to watch it. Uh, there are 16 chapters. Uh, so, as far as the characters who are playable, anybody who is a playable character in the first three Mortal Kombats, they're all there. You have your Striker, Cabal, you have Sonya, Kano, all of them. Now, you have a couple characters in here that were introduced after Mortal Kombat 3 that happen to be playable in here. You have Quan Chi. Uh, you have a character called Cyber Sub-Zero, which is basically Sub-Zero as a robot because of something that happened in the story that I won't really spoil here as far as how it happened. Now, there's another version of this game called Mortal Kombat 9 Complete Edition, 
in which you have uh, four extra playable characters. A new character named Scarlet. Actually, make that five because they did add in somebody else here. You have you have Kratos from God of War. He was in here. Now, Scarlet, like I said, that's a new character. You have Kenshi, who was introduced in Deadly Alliance. I talked about that in another video. You have Rain, who debuted in MK3. And interestingly enough, you have a movie character in here, Freddy Krueger. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's funny, isn't it? it? It's crazy. But I thought he was pretty all right. Now, you said Nightwolf, Jade, Johnny, Cyrax, Smoke, Katana, Reptile, Ermac, Sub-Zero, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sindel, and a few others. Shang Tsung. Now, you have Shao Kahn, who is the boss character. So, as usual, you have an arcade mode where there are ten levels in this game. The first seven levels, you're fighting the basic characters. Baraka, Reptile, Molina, Shiva, Noob Saibot. The eighth character is always Shang Tsung, who's a sub-boss. The ninth one is either Goro or Kentaro. They're both in here, so they switch that up sometimes, depending on... And the 10th one is the final boss character, Shao Kahn, who is usually the final boss character in most Mortal Kombat games. Now, Shao Kahn, Goro, and Kentaro, and Kentaro are not playable in this game. And I, th I thought that the game would have been a little bit better with them being playable just because, I mean, I thought it'd be interesting. I mean, a lot of fans ask the same question. What's the purpose of having characters in the game? They're not playable. If they had rebooted the entire franchise and just made every character playable for whoever was in that game, I think it would be a lot better. But, I mean, nonetheless, it's still good. Now, as far as who... Now I'm going to get into my opinion of, like, some of my favorite characters playable. If I had to pick my top five in this game, I would say... And I'm looking at the roster right now, to those of you that are curious what I'm looking at. Raiden. Cabal. Kitana, Liu Kang, and Scorpion. Th those are the ones that I would have to go with. Now, as far as probably a handful of other characters I think are pretty good. I mean, I think Smoke was good, Cyrax, Sonya, Jax wasn't bad, and Sub-Zero was okay. My only problem with him is that he wasn't fast enough on some moves, so his uppercut wasn't quite as fast. He kind of had a slower uppercut, whereas Scorpion, Johnny, and Liu Kang had a fast uppercut. It was it was quick, lightning fast. So, and so based on what the reviews on this game say, and, uh, you know, so anybody who is a true Mortal Kombat fan has pretty much already played this and watched the story. So, I mean, you kind of already know what it's about. You've already heard about this. Uh, to those of you who either are new to, to, to Mortal Kombat or to those of you who are just video game fans in general but haven't gotten to this yet for some reason... It's, I'd like to think of it as, it's definitely a game that's worth playing. It's available on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PlayStation Vita. And I'm seeing if there's anything else I should be able to add to this. Uh, 16 chapters, in case you're wondering who is playable. I, matter of fact, I should be able to tell you this really off the top of my head for as many times as I've played it and as many times I've watched the story. Um, so... Like I said, the story is a reboot of the first three games. So the first five chapters are basically the story of Mortal Kombat 1. Chapters 6 through 11 are Mortal Kombat 2. And the events of MK3 are chapters 12 to 16. Uh, one is Johnny Cage, Sonya. Scorpion, Cyrax, Liu Kang, Jax, Smoke, Sub-Zero, Kitana, Jade, Kung Lao, Striker, Cabal, Cyber Sub-Zero, Nightwolf, and Raiden. So each chapter is that's who you're going to be playing as throughout the story. In between the cutscenes, there are some fight scenes because obviously, I mean, that's all Mortal Kombat is about is about fighting. Most of it is fighting to the death. 
and I'm gonna put the story in the comment section below. The story is two hours and 16 minutes long. It's, it's really just the cutscenes with some of the fighting in it, with some of the, the game fighting in it, the scenes. So I, I think it's pretty interesting. Check it out, Mortal Kombat 9, MKA Mortal Kombat 2011. I think it's a pretty good game, available on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and PlayStation Vita. It's a great game, check it out.